Hi everybody, uh, this is a how-to video for the projectile marble in a cup lab. Uh, the materials that you will need, um, you need to make a ramp, so maybe some books or box. Uh, a ruler works really nicely for the ramp. You could also use a cutting board. Um, you need a projectile. So if you have a marble at home, that's awesome. But you could also use food, like the, these are some Whoppers, like a candy at Circular. Um, you could also use like a, a cereal, like a Trix, like a cereal that's circular, anything that will roll. All right, with setting up your lab, you wanna make sure to um, set it up, because you're gonna have to set it up in two different locations. You need two countertops. So using a lab table and a different height table. Let's go from there. What you're doing first is you are simply measuring the height of the table. So I am just trying to figure out like how tall is this table, right? Measure that in meters. The next thing I want to do is I want to figure out where it lands because I want to, ultimately I want to find out how fast the marble is going. That's really what I'm trying to do. So I will release this marble and take note of where it lands. And I know the height of the table. Here is the data table that you will see in your lab. And here is the data that I've collected. So the height of this lab table is 0.92. I used this height to calculate the time in the air. And we've seen this equation a bunch. I measured the marble landing, 0.33. So now I know how fast the marble is going, 0.33 divided by 0.43 going 0.6 meters per second. So I know how fast my marble's going with this ramp setup. Now what I want to do is choose another table. So if you're at home, maybe your dining room table, a kitchen counter, a coffee table, like a different height of table, you want to move your ramp, but you want it to be super similar. So take note of like how you set it up, the number of books, how you placed the ruler, how far away it is from the edge of the table, because all you want it to, just to be very uh, consistent. At the table. So I'm going to move my ramp over here. It's about 17 and a half. Okay. And what you're trying to do, this is like the goal of this lab is you are trying to get the marble to land in a cup. That's really what you're trying to do. That's like the ultimate goal. So I know how fast it's going. I have a new height to the table. So I'm going to measure my new height. I'm gonna calculate time again. And then once I do that, I can use time and the velocity to measure the, um, I'm show this, measure, to, cal to predict where it's going to land. So the new table, it's a little bit smaller. The new time, it's a little bit smaller because the table's smaller. This is the velocity from the old data table. This is where it should land. This is my prediction. So what I would like for you to do is take a plastic cup and just test it out and see if it'll land there. So it, mine should land about 0.3 meters. 0.3. Okay. Let's try this. Woo -hoo! It landed, but it bounced off. Okay, that's it. That is practicing the calculations and also just seeing projectile motion in real life. That's it.